for three vectors a b and c if a cross b is equal to c and a cross c is equal to b then prove that a b and c are mutually perpendicular vectors mod b is equal to mod c and mod a is equal to 1 given that a cross b is equal to c which implies that c vector is perpendicular to a vector and c vector is perpendicular to b vector since a cross b is a c vector c vector must be perpendicular to both the vectors a and b and also given a cross c is equal to b vector which implies that b vector is perpendicular to a vector and b vector is perpendicular to c vector so let's consider this is 1 and 2 so from 1 and 2 we can say a is perpendicular to b and b is perpendicular to c and c is perpendicular to a so we can write a perpendicular to a vector is perpendicular to b vector and b vector is perpendicular to c vector and c vector is perpendicular to a vector so therefore a comma b comma c these three vectors are a vector b vector c vector are mutually perpendicular vectors they are mutually perpendicular vectors and now we need to prove that mod b is equal to mod c and mod a is equal to 1 so consider consider a cross b is equal to c applying mod on both the sets mod of a cross b is equal to mod c and by the definition of cross product we can write mod a mod b a sign of the angle between the two vectors so between angle between a and b is 90 degrees since a is perpendicular to b so which is equal to mod c since a is perpendicular to b angle between two vectors a and b is 90 degrees so sine 90 is 1 so mod a into mod b is equal to mod c make this in a third equation and now consider again consider a cross c is equal to vector b so applying mod on both the sides mod of a cross c is equal to mod b so by the definition of cross product we can write mod a mod c sine of the angle between the two vectors since a is perpendicular to c so we can write sine pi by 2 angle between them is 90 degrees which is equal to mod b so therefore which implies that mod a into mod c sin 90 is 1 which is equal to mod b consider this an equation 4 now from 3 and 4 3 and 4 we can write mod a into mod b upon mod a into mod c is equal to mod c upon mod b just by dividing the equation 3 and equation 4 so we can cancel here mod a and mod a and here we can write mod b whole square is equal to mod c whole square or we can write mod b is equal to mod c since the length is positive so we will consider mod b is equal to mod c length of the vector b is equal to length of the vector c so this is once we proved it and let us substitute mod b is equal to mod c in third equation 
put mod b is equal to mod c in equation 3 so which implies that mod a into mod c which is equal to mod c so therefore mod a is equal to mod c upon mod c so which is equal to 1 so therefore mod a is equal to 1 so hence we proved it mod b is equal to mod c and mod a is equal to 1